Hey, girlfriends, it's your girl, Shelly V. It is wash day on this day nine hair. I know, it. I, I know. But first and foremost, if you're new here, welcome. We are so happy to have you. Hey. Hi, y'all. Hi, Hi y'all doing? Thank you. Okay, so now that you've been properly welcomed, let's get back to this hair. So first we're going to saturate her full of water and just get her nice and juicy and rehydrated and rinse out the product that we have in there. So I like to get my hair thoroughly wet and then I will begin to squeeze my hair as the water runs through it just to help it release any product that's in it before I go in with any of my shampoos and begin the cleansing process. Which is what you see me doing now and I'll do that several times before I go in with any shampoo. And this is what my hair looks like before I put any shampoo or anything in it, just rinsing out the botanical gel and mousse that I use. Okay, so now that the majority of the styling products have been, you know, released from my hair from the water, I'm gonna go in with my first shampoo. Today we're using Clarity by Innersense and it's considered an all-purpose shampoo so it really gets into the hair and cleanses it really nice. It also is for anyone who has like a sensitive scalp or is sensitive to fragrances and that sort of stuff. So I have recently found that I've been dealing with some, you know, kind of scalp issues to where my scalp has been feeling really itchy. So I've been trying different shampoos out that don't have like a lot of essential oils and different things just to see if that's it. But that's, you know, a whole nother YouTube video that I'll come back and address because I have found out some things since this wash day has occurred. And so anyways, we'll get into that in another video. But for now, this is what we're using. Also, when I'm washing my hair, I try to avoid using my nails and stick to using the pads of my fingers to really get in and scrub my scalp and make sure that it's nice and clean and all of those things. You're going to see me start to take that shampoo lather and really begin to work it down the strands of my hair. You'll notice that I go in a downward motion because that helps keep my hair like organized and it helps keep it from getting like crazy tangled while I'm shampooing it. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna rinse my hair really good and get out all of the lather from the first shampoo, but then I'm gonna go back in after all of that shampoo lather has been rinsed out and I'm gonna go in for a second wash. Now, normally I would go in with a moisturizing shampoo, but, but right now I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be using a product called K18 and I wanna make sure that before I put it on my hair, that my hair is really nice and clean and that I don't have any other uh, products that are going to deposit any sort of like oils or emollients or anything like that into my hair because I don't want any of the properties of the K18 to be blocked. I mean, I'm not a cosmetologist or anything, but just from what I've read and researched, you don't want to use anything that would go in and block it, like any sort of, you know, 
uh, product that has any moisturizing agent, like you wouldn't go in with conditioner first and then go in with K18. You wanna go in with K18 first and then ideally you don't want to use any conditioner if you need to use anything. I'm getting ahead of myself right now, but I'm just explaining it since we're here. Uh, but you'll see me use the K18 further down in the video. But anywho, um, ideally, you don't want to use any conditioner after you use the K18. But if you need to use any conditioner, they suggest that you use a leave-in, a light leave-in. So um, supposedly by using conditioner, it can go in and block some of the effects of the K18, which is basically a product that helps rebuild um, any of the protein bonds that have been broken down. Anyways, you know, I'm not a scientist, okay? Can, can we say that one more, one more time for the people in the back? I'm not a scientist, but uh, I'm using the K18 just because I have fine hair in some areas and because of the fact that you know, I'm always doing wash and goes and manipulating the hair. The protein strands or the protein bonds rather can get broken down. And I just want to make sure that, you know, we're keeping them nice and full of strength. And so that's my reasoning behind using it. I may be, you know, wrong in that, but my hair and just what I'm deciding to do and just, you know, enjoying this journey and trying different things and just seeing what does what. So that's where we are. Which lines us up perfectly for this portion of the video. So I'm blotting the excess water out of my hair before I apply the K18 because you don't want to apply it on dripping wet hair. It's a very concentrated product and you use very little of it. So you wanna make sure that um, the hair is not dripping full of water and the product escapes the hair. So you go in and they just said, towel dry so I just followed the directions like I looked at videos and did all the things went to their website and so I am following the directions according to exactly how they said utilize the product but I will say I believe that their directions are more geared towards straight hair because the thought of not going in afterwards with conditioner was kind of daunting I did it and um, I will say there, I mean, you have to have some patience because to detangle your hair and especially day nine hair <laughs> after using an all purpose shampoo and then, you know, going in with just K18 and no conditioner and detangling, which y'all will see that process if you continue to watch, which I hope you continue to watch because we're having fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just very interesting process. But when I use something, I really, most of the time, try and use it according to the directions. The lies! There you the go, lies. this bitch, the I'm lies. telling you. I also like to section within the sections that I've created within my hair when I'm detangling it, just because it makes it easier, especially doing the detangling process this way without conditioner. It makes it way easier to just, you know, keep in control of my hair and really slowly but surely go through it and detangle it um, in smaller sections, which makes sense, right? So that is the exact process that you're gonna see me work through for, you know, a period of time through this video, just slowly and meticulously going through my hair in small sections and detangling it. Um, at some points when I was editing this video, I was like, dang, I look like I'm being extra rough, but I'm really not. It just looks that way and appears that way, but I've really, you know, um, been very mindful of how I handle my hair, how I detangle my hair. And I, I mean, I think we all are, like nothing has changed um, for me doing that, but it's just funny whenever I'm, editing videos I look at stuff and I'm like dang I'd be looking like I am just going hard in the paint but I mean it is tightly you know 
curly, uh, kinky hair, and uh, it is what it is, right? So anyways, enjoy this portion of the video. I'm just going to continue to uh, do what I do, and then I'll come back and chime in, because uh, otherwise, you'll just, you know, be subjected to my lovely voice if I just keep going. So anyways, enjoy this portion, and I'll be back, friends. I lied. I'm back already. <laughs> Got <laughs> <laughs> Okay, really quick. I just have to say, because I'm using K18 and because I'm not using any conditioner to detangle my hair, um, in the instructions, it says do not rinse out the K18. So I'm not adding any water really to my hair. And I won't do that until I get to the styling portion of it, which is in a whole different video. But normally when I'm detangling my hair and I'm using conditioner, I make sure that I add water in as I go through because water just really helps to release the any tangles that are in my hair. So just keep that in mind as we go along. And you'll see in future um, wash day videos from me, exactly what I'm talking about, where I use a boatload of conditioner and water, and it just really simplifies this process. But for this, you know, it, it, it just is what it is. All right, okay, now I'm really gone. Also really quick, this is me just showing you the brush so you can see the amount of hair that's coming out as I'm working my way, you know, through my hair and detangling it just so you can see that um, the real time hair loss that's coming out. And it's not hair that's breaking or anything like that. Of course, it's just my hair releasing the shed hair um, from the nine days of wearing my wash and go. And it's said that you lose about 50 to 100 strands of hair per day so you multiply that over nine days and you got a nice little you know hairball at the end so anyways there's that another thing is you see how i'm winding my hair this is a really good way of helping to release any tangles in your hair that like just don't want to release and I've, instead of like trying to just continue to rip through the hair and create like a, a slip knot in your hair or single strand knots, I just noticed that if I, you know, wind the hair, the tangle just kind of dissipates and releases and then I'm able to continue on with the detangling process. So just a little tip there, if you ever get stuck, just wind the hair and you'll be like, whoa, and then in the shower, you'll be like, thank you, Shelly, and you know, I'll whisper back, you're welcome, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, pray for me, something's wrong with your girlfriend. All right, back to the video.
So you can see I'm just continuing to move through my head and detangle it and do all that good stuff. And shortly I'm gonna show you the hairball of the shed hair that I had. And it's right in line with what I would anticipate, you know, nine days of wearing a wash and go to look like. And especially because I use K18 and didn't use conditioner to detangle, um, I'm actually really happy <laughs> with the size that it was. Uh, I would have been a little bit freaked out had it been bigger, quite honestly. But the detangling process, like I said, was tedious, but doable. So I am continuing to work my way through my head of hair, just making sure that, you know, I'm getting out all the tangles and all the shed hair that's, you know, trapped up in there after wearing it for nine days. You'll also see me take down both sides and just brush through it one more good time. And then I'm gonna section it into four sections because that helps me manage my hair better when I go into the styling aspect of, you know, my next wash and go. So we are just about to the end, curl friends. I just wanted to take a moment and tell you thank you for following your girl. If you haven't already, remember to like this video because that helps me out. Make sure you share it and subscribe. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye, curl friends.